This generation of Americans has a rendezvous with destiny. Those words spoken by Franklin Delano Roosevelt in 1936 could not have been more prophetic. Today they echo the accomplishments of the men and women who fought the battles and kept the home front working during World War II. Many of those veterans and those who stayed behind to keep the country running say they were just ordinary people doing a job. We know today that it was an extraordinary job which profoundly changed the course of history for the better. Alachua County is proud to pay tribute to the veterans of World War II and to all veterans that call Alachua County home. Bob Gachet is a Marine. Today he calls Gainesville home, but 63 years ago, home was the foxholes of Iwo Jima. The bloodiest battle in the history of the United States Marine Corps, the battle for Iwo Jima. It was just uh, pretty much a killing field. He still has souvenirs from the battle, the most treasured, this tattered Bible. Let me read it to you. To Harvest McDonald, from your best buddy Bob, March 23rd, 1945. And that's right there on there. Now this is one I gave to Harvest, and it survived. Gachet and Harvest McDonald were with the 5th Marine Division. Like a lot of Marines that day, before landing on Iwo Jima, they made a pact on the boat. If you got hit, go visit my folks. If I get hit, go, you go visit my folks. That, that kind of thing. And it, it was a very serious uh, uh, compact, if you will. Um, we both agreed to that. The Japanese forces didn't attack when the Marines initially landed. They waited for the beach to be full before opening fire. It was pretty bad because we were catching fire from Mount Siribachi, 540 feet high, firing down on us. It was just uh, shooting ducks in a small bucket, and we were the ducks. <laughs> the battle had already exacted a heavy price from the Marines and the Japanese. Despite staggering casualties, they continued to fight for the tiny eight square mile island. The trauma of battle is so intense when you're under fire that you have really not much alternative except to keep moving on and continuing. If you let casualties deter you or upset you greatly, uh, you could not continue as a warrior, and you had to. It, it, it was, a, if you will, a, a, just a different world. A sense of mission and loyalty to fellow Marines kept them going. You don't want to let your buddies down. Uh, you, that's very strong in, in terms of your feelings and, and your thoughts and actions. Halfway through the brutal 36-day campaign, Bob Gachet was hit by shrapnel. We were moving out, cleaning out caves and tunnels as we went. And once you got out into the open somewhat in, on that island of Iwo Jima, you were fair game. That's when I got hit and I went down. <laughs> McDonald was with Gachet when he was wounded. He came to me, and this I do remember, he said, does your rifle still work? And I said, yeah. I had an M1 Garand rifle, and his was malfunctioning, so he took mine, and I was hauled back uh, to a hospital ship. For Gachet, the war was over. He underwent an operation on the hospital ship before being transported to a hospital in Guam. McDonald and Gachet's rifle stayed on Iwo Jima. He ended up as a squad leader, and he led so brilliantly and so valiantly that he won the Silver Star. He went on almost all the way through the battle. I think he was wounded three days before the end of the battle, which was amazing to last that long, having been a, one of the original men that landed, Marines that landed on D-Day and he died of his wounds um, shortly after. I don't know if it was on a hospital ship or on the ground. I, I never found out. Gachet honored the agreement and visited McDonald's parents in Alabama. Today, Harvest McDonald is remembered on a local veteran's memorial. I did go visit his folks in rural Alabama and got to know them and just uh, 
if you will, became a part of the family. Gachet stayed in the Marines and served through the Korean War. And Harvest became a part of Gachet's family when he named his son after him. Gachet was awarded the Purple Heart for his World War II service. Today, he stays very active in the veterans community and speaks to students at local schools, sharing memories and lessons of his 18 days on Iwo Jima. There were many sacrifices uh, to keep this country free. I I'll never forget that. For County Update, I'm Alan Yetter.